Hello my dear friends, we are here one more time to demonstrate to you guys that we do not live on a spinning ball earth, we live on a flat stationary earth. This past weekend I had the chance of meeting some Japanese flat earthers, we had a meet up in a restaurant and I met very interesting people there. One actually works for a company that makes parts for rockets and the other guy works for a programming company where they are developing software to be used to be sent on a probe to Mars. How interesting this thing is getting because people don't believe anymore the things they have been told. So we're gonna look at this amazing footage of Mount Fuji from 125 miles away or 201 kilometers. Mount Fuji is considered to be a sacred mountain here in Japan. Many foreigners come to visit to climb Mount Fuji. It stands at 3776 meters high, no, 12,800 89 feet high so we're gonna look at this and uh, you know you do the math and you'll see that we don't live on a spinning ball earth let's go ahead and get a look, take a look at this here's a map of japan here's mount fuji right here this red dot and uh we will be looking at this picture right here it was taken from a distance of 125 miles or 201 kilometers now this is not the record not gonna look at the record breaking picture from Wakayama or 322 kilometers away. I will show this picture to you, but I'm not interested in this one right here because we have more details. And uh, this is a map available online of Japan. It's, it's specifically made to show places in a radius of almost 400 kilometers that of places where you can look at and see Mount Fuji. So Mount Fuji is right here in the middle. So you have here like 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, up to 400 miles. Okay, maybe perhaps sailors have seen from their, that distance. But up to 322 miles, people can see Mount Fuji. That's an amazing, I mean, 322 kilometers, around, around 200 miles and plus. So let's go ahead now and take a look at these images right here. We're going to look now at a photograph taken from 125 miles away, 201 kilometers away from this place right here. So this place is 2 meters or 6 feet above sea level and you can add another me a meter and a half for about another four feet because the photographer was using a tripod so we have a total of three and a half meters above sea level or about 12 feet above sea level so this is the place where he was right here this picture you see mount fuji but wait we're gonna zoom in and look at all the details I don't forget to have these two islands here with the Japanese symbol on top because this rope is going to be, be so much bigger. So that's the distance right here. It was in Shima, in this province right here in Japan, and he took the picture of Mount Fuji from 125 miles or 201 kilometers. Now let's go back here for a minute. Remember, he was uh, the he was at about the picture the camera was positioned three and a half meters or about nine almost ten feet above sea level. So Mount Fuji is right here. Only 813 meters of Mount Fuji should be visible, or 3,874 feet. Only basically the tip. There should be a bulge of water measuring 9,721 feet or 2,963 meters high between the photographer and Mount Fuji. There should be this, but that's not what we see. This is the image again where he was, Mount Fuji. Only this tip here should be visible, but look at this. This is what should be visible only 813 meters or 3,874 feet. There should be this huge bulge of water measuring 9,721 feet 
or 2963 meters. But this is the photograph right here. That's what we see. All, all the details, pay attention to this here because this is going to be going to be showing when we show the pictures. Only this tip of Mount Fuji should be visible from that distance, hidden behind. The rest of the mountain should be hidden behind a bulge of water measuring 9,721 feet or 2,963 meters. And here's the photograph, the record-breaking photograph. Remember, this is that mountain I told you at the beginning with the Japanese symbol on the rope. And this is the photograph. He took it from 125 miles distance or 201 kilometers. You can observe here the mountain, uh, this little hill right here. Everything is showing in the photograph. And that's what you see right here. This is the photograph, a record-breaking photograph from uh, Shima province, 201 kilometers away. 125 miles away from Mount Fuji and that's the picture that he took record-breaking picture at a distance 125 miles proving that Earth is not a globe if Earth were a globe that's what we should observe this huge uh, bulge of water hiding almost all of Mount Fuji with the exception of the tiny tip 113 meters high or 3,000 feet left. But on the other hand, this is what we observe right here. The whole mountain can be seen, even the hills around it. Just as we see in this image right here, everything can be seen from a distance of 125 miles or 201 kilometers. Here's all the math. He, he showed all the math here. That's the size of Mount Fuji, 12,387 feet or 2,346 miles high or 3,776 meters. 2,963 meters should be hidden behind the curvature, should be hidden behind a huge bulge of water, and it's not, okay? Around 9,721 feet should be hidden behind the curvature and it's not. Now this is not the record-breaking picture actually. This is the one here. Actually let me show this article here. It says right here, if you do pull it off before you go bragging, you have to remember that this wouldn't be the farthest west photo taken of Mount Fuji. That honor is held by a place in Wakayama Prefecture where you can snap Mount Fuji from across the water at a distance of 200 miles or 322 kilometers. So as I told you, there is even a map showing the places where you can snap pictures of Mount Fuji in an area of up to over 300 kilometers, over 200 miles away. You can take a picture of Mount Fuji. Now we know, club believers will say that's a refraction, but it's not refraction. There is just no curvature out there. So this is it for today, guys. One more proof that we don't live on a spinning ball. We don't live on a globe. We live on a flat stationary Earth. Everything is observable. Uh, things like this cannot happen. There's too many evidences. Lighthouses, this Fuji mountain, too many evidences demonstrating that we don't live on a spinning ball, right? So wake up, open your eyes, and thanks for this week. I uh, hope you guys are doing fine. We're moving on, spreading flat earth in, around here. I'm glad to know it's growing. People are opening their eyes and hope to see you again next week. Take care, be safe, bye-bye.